Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss about culture media. We know culture media uh, are the preparations uh, widely used in microbiology laboratories for the cultivation of microorganisms. So, uh, why do we need to cultivate microorganisms? That is the primary question to be addressed. We know that microbiology as a discipline need the study of microorganisms. So, the microorganisms usually exist in the nature, uh, in the environment, growing uh, or utilizing a different components in the, in the nature and they usually grow there. But uh, when you want to study a particular organism, for example, if you want to study about a pathogenic microorganism which causes a particular disease, in that situation, we have to cultivate, we have to isolate the bacteria from the patient or from the uh, samples of the patient. And these microorganisms which are isolated from the patient has to be cultivated uh, in the laboratory or has to be cultivated artificially in the lab and for that we need to provide all the required materials uh, readily available in that preparation and so there will be some principle there will be some some concepts how to prepare a media and uh, what are the different procedures to prepare and uh, cultivate microorganisms and all such uh, principles and concepts are there in microbiology. Okay, so here in this part of presentation, we will see what are the different types of uh, culture media widely uh, employed in a microbiology laboratory for various purposes. Especially, uh, we know that we need to identify microorganisms uh, after their proper isolation, and these identified microorganisms will have certain biochemical features there will be uh, certain medical medical uh, relevant features will be there like uh, antibiotic sensitivity and also sometimes uh, uh, there will be relevance in in various uh, industries like uh, water analysis or, or it may be the quality control purpose uh, that means in the food industry so in all these uh, area all, all these uh, applications we need to cultivate microorganisms Cultivation is the basis for most of the uh, analytical part in microbiology. Clear? So, uh, we need to identify what are the different types of media used uh, and what are the unique features of each media in detail. So, uh, as I already said, the growth of microorganism is going to be an essential feature for the study of these organisms at any level right and uh, we need to supply all the essential factors essential nutrients into the medium where it grows so what is a culture media or how do you define a culture media a culture media is uh, by definition uh, is a preparation uh, which is used to grow transport and store the microorganism the preparation means it's a nutrient material right it's you can say it's simply a nutrient material prepare for the growth of microorganisms usually in a laboratory so what are the different things usually available in a media we know that for an organism to grow and what are be the type of organism whether it's prokaryote eukaryote higher level plants animal what are be the type of organism all living cells require different some components for their successful growth so is true for uh, prokaryote or like bacteria also in bacteria also they need uh, a carbon source an energy source uh, uh, like other sources like nitrogen sulfur phosphorus everything are required and all these factors are supplied in the media which we are artificially preparing in the laboratory and we can use different components as the source of carbon or as the source of nitrogen, sulfur uh, and also we need uh, other things like uh, all these elements are required then the growth factors will be there 
uh, of course and there will be water molecules or water as the as the basal medium for the uh, for the preparation of the medium so everything uh, will be will be mixed together to get a nutrient solution and this media could be either in the form of solid or liquid based on the uh, requirement and whatever be the consistency whether solid or liquid we need to provide all the nutrients all the materials for the successful growth of the microorganisms in them and here you can see an example uh, in terms of in case of a micro uh, in term in case of nutrient agar uh, we are providing the components like pepton beef extract nacl which is dissolved in the distilled water and to this preparation we are also adding agar as a solidifying agent and the purpose of each and every component is given also there you can see there um, the peptone is acting as a source of amino acids nitrogen carbohydrate vitamins growth factors and other inorganic elements at the same time beef extract and sometimes yeast extract is also being used are used for used as a source of carbohydrate uh, and also some source of other materials and also including organic nitrogen then nacl like things are provided to maintain the osmotic concentration and there will be all other trace elements will be supplied uh, automatically when we are using all the other components like it will be there present in the water in in peptone beef and other things which are supplied in the or provided in the media okay so this gives you an idea about how a media is uh, is uh, i mean composed of right this is one of the simplest media which provide ambient growth of microorganism when we uh, uh, used to cultivate them and uh, we have different types of media based on different criteria you can classify them and one of the uh, feature is based on their consistency that means their appearance whether they are having a solid appearance or a liquid consistency and based on that we have three types of media solid media liquid media and semi solid media this is based on their consistency or the or the media uh, consistency of uh, in terms of their appearance and the second criteria commonly used is the uh, ingredients present or otherwise you simply can say based on the composition it could be the simple media complex uh, then synthetic or defined media and based on oxygen requirement aerobic or anaerobic we will we'll discuss all of them in detail and additionally we have special media or you can otherwise say a special purpose media or based on specific application uh, a microbiologist usually prepares special media and which include a list of media and few of the uh, very commonly uh, used media are provided here as examples like enriched media enrichment selective differential etc all those are different types of special media now we are moving into the discussion of each media in detail so first we will we'll see what is a solid media so a solid medium uh, as the term indicates it's it's a solid media the media is solid in consistency and why it is solid it's because which contain a solidifying agent usually uh, we know that it will be agar or agar agar and this is uh, widely used the solid media since it is having a, a solid appearance will be definitely used for the surface cultivation of microorganisms okay so uh, what percentage of agar is commonly used uh, the answer is around 1.5 to 2 percentage that's very important 1.5 to 2 percentage of agar is uh, is preferred for the preparation of a solid media if it is below that or if it is uh, very much above that concentration is that that may affect uh, the quality of the media clear and uh, you, why, what are the purposes or what are the uh, special purposes of this media like it could be uh, good for observation of colony morphology then the production of pigment then hemolysis uh, sensitivity test like you know antibiotic sensitivity for those things we can use solid media and uh, we have a number of examples like uh, nutrient agar blood agar muller hindenagar uh, this muller hindenagar is used for the antibiotic sensitivity test 
and blood agar is used for observing hemolysis. Then nutrient agar is good for observation of colony morphology and also other pigmentation reactions. Okay, so this is what is solid media. Uh, then normally how, where this media is prepared? Usually we prefer a dish called a petri plate. Right, it's prepared in a petri dish and uh, then it is called uh, a petri, petri dish or a petri plate. No, uh, we, if it is nutrient agar, we say nutrient agar plate. If it is blood agar, blood agar plate. Right. So, and not only plate, we can also use uh, test tubes. Right. In test tubes, either you can uh, prepare uh, an agar slant. Slant is nothing but a slopey uh, preparation, or it could be uh, agar deep tube. It's a it's a, a standing preparation. Right. And uh, these uh, slant cultures and uh, each, each culture has its own application. The slant cultures are used usually for the storage of pure cultures and other culture media. Whereas uh, the deep tube cultures are used for special purposes. Right. And the solid plate media are one of the widely used media for, for the isolation, enumeration and other property analysis. You can see that. Uh, here you can see the solid media, uh, the liquid media, and also um, the right uh, in the, in the uh, one corner you can see the slant, agar slant, and also the agar deep tube. Right. Hope it's clear. Now uh, there is a question usually coming. Uh, what's agar? Agar is usually it's nothing but a, a polysaccharide. It's a sulfated polymer, uh, usually composed of uh, certain um, monomeric units like uh, galactose uh, then um, different isomers of galactose are actually involved like D galactose 3 6 anhydryl galactose and also um, glucuronic acid and these together form uh, a polymer and this polymer which has a network appearance and which forms uh, as or which provide a solidifying property to a solution right and usually this material is extracted from the cell walls of uh, red algae like uh, gelidiaceae or gracilarae so these red algae in their cell wall uh, you can see this polysaccharide and these polysaccharides are extracted from that red algae and which is processed and used as a media component right and uh, when you look back into the history it was first used in uh, 19, uh, sorry, 1882 in the Koch laboratory. You know, Koch laboratory is one of the uh, significant contributor in the, in the designing and the preparation of different types of culture media. You might have studied about uh, the contribution of um, Koch in, in media preparation. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, he has uh, tried a low number of materials like uh, boiled potatoes, gelatin etc. as a solidifying agent and uh, actually he miserably failed in most of these cases and ultimately one of his assistant's wife came come up with uh, agar as a solidifying agent and that was successful for using as a as a solidifying agent in a nutrient medium and what is the unique feature? or what are the disadvantages of uh, potatoes or gelatin uh, it's simply you can say potatoes and uh, potato uh, could be boiled potato could be used as a solidifying agent but the, the problem is potato is a nutrient material so when the uh, organism is growing it could also utilize this potato so that uh, this potato gets uh, exhausted from the media and uh, the media consistency may be affected a bit the gelatin also the same is uh, true for gelatin uh, even though all the organisms will consume gelatin, there are certain, certain members which could consume gelatin. So that may cause liquefaction of a media which is solidified by gelatin. Right. So uh, definitely there will be certain peculiar features for the agar to be used as a solidifying agent. And what are they? The most important things are it has no nutritive value it's given there as three points there is no nutritive value so it is not digested by most of the microorganisms so it's a it's not a nutrient substance given in the medium 
then second thing is that which has a unique feature that it liquefies at around 100 degrees celsius it gets liquefied that means it completely dissolved in a, in a, in a solution and remain liquid that means which remains as a liquid until the temperature drops to around 40 or 42 degrees celsius so when the agar powder is dissolved in a water in water in, in any other solvent they get dissolved in it when the temperature is uh, rise to around 100 degrees celsius and this will remain as a liquid until the temperature drops below 42 degrees celsius that's it okay that's an important feature because which helps the uh, microbiologist to sterilize effectively sterilize the media in the liquid form and after that it may get solidified into the solid state and the third feature is that it will not melt again until the temperature rises to about 80 to 90 degrees celsius again it's quite interesting that once it is solidified it will not be melted which will not be liquefied be, uh, below a temperature range of 90 degrees celsius right so these three are the most significant feature of agar why it is used for for the uh, solidifying property now are uh, the liquid media Liquid media simply, you know, uh, a media which doesn't contain a sol uh, solidifying agent. We have a lot of example like uh, nutrient growth, uh, tryptic soy broth or brain heart infusion growth. All those are uh, simply nutrient uh, preparations widely used for initial isolation and, uh, uh, you know, uh, pure culture preparations and all those. We use liquid media, right? And, uh, and normally most of the fermentation studies and uh, for the biochemical test uh, and for uh, large quantity cultivations we use liquid media right the only uh, thing you have to remember is that this is a, a media preparation which doesn't contain a solidifying agent fine and the growth in it usually will come to that point later the growth in a liquid media will be identified based on their turbidity clear so that's about liquid media now a uh, solid semi solid media semi solid media uh, it is something uh, in between the liquid media and the solid media so a semi solid media consists of a low concentration of agar around 0.2 to 0.5 percentage of agar will be present in a semi solid media and uh, hence the uh, consistency will be uh, will will also will be in between a solid and a liquid that means which has a jelly like consistency right it's not a solid and it's not a liquid and which has special purpose like uh, widely used for the determination of motility and also for certain uh, for the detection of certain biochemical features and i hope you can uh, follow the presentations and we will continue with the next types of media, uh, uh, next classification of media uh, in the next presentation. And if you have any doubt, you can uh, comment on the, on the various doubts and we, we can discuss. Okay, thank you for watching.